I'm a little late to the windmill game, but honestly, I've been missing out. These things are so much fun. They make me want to get out of the house and just ride around, even just around the block or just here and there for a few minutes every day. And we all know these are great tools for filmmakers. But I didn't purchase this with the mentality that this would be a tool. I honestly thought it would be one of the best purchases I would ever make. And so far, I've been correct. <laughs> So let's check out Blue Bear. I got the Pint X, which is the supercharged version of the Pint. I took a risk buying the more expensive one wheel, but I read and heard that people were outgrowing the Pint after just a few months. So I took the jump and got the X. I don't regret it. I love being able to go 18 miles per hour. I love having that option, even though I try not to push it that fast all the time. I also like having the 12 to 18 mile battery range. Not that I pushed it 18 miles, but sometimes I forget to charge it and that definitely saves me. Even though this is the smaller pint, I would hate for it to die on me even half or quarter a mile away from my car or house. These things are heavy. This is the first time I've been vlogging with my camera and the one wheel and it's honestly scary because this isn't the best road for vlogging or for one wheeling, but we survived I guess. Previously, I had the carbon fender from One Wheel, but Craft and Ride was kind enough to send me their magnetic fender, which is super easy to install and also looks really cool. All you have to do is unscrew the fender and then screw on the four magnetic attachments, and then you can just magnetically attach the fender. This video was not sponsored by Craft and Ride, but a big thank you for sending this over. This thing seems really sturdy, but I still would advise picking it up by the fender. I know I said I didn't buy this as a filmmaking tool, but you can really use this one wheel to get some really cool steady shots and we're gonna try this out. So hopefully I don't break my camera or my bones. You ready? We're gonna get some cool cinematic B-roll. I've been on the road, I've been doing shows. Now we ain't steak, remember sleeping on the floor. We're still in at the gas station when the time was cold. In the kitchen, high still trying to flip it out the stove. Push it to the limit, I can't go no more. Red light, no way I'm coming back home. Long dirt road all on my own. I'ma be the greatest, write my name in the stone. Write my name in the stone. Yeah, I'm coming back home. Yeah, I'm coming back home. Write my name in the stone. Cause I'm coming back home. <laughs> Using this one wheel to add stabilization to your shots, since I have it, why not take advantage of it? This can be used as a stabilizer to add even more stability to a shot and throw a gimbal on there and you got some crazy stable good shots. If you're doing a lot of video where subjects are moving and you want to keep up well, the one wheel is a great tool for that. Just make sure you're thinking of the risk. Even though a one wheel with a gimbal and a camera is a perfect combo, it is not safe or recommended or a good idea. Except it is a good idea. Just be careful. Don't risk any gear you can't afford to break. I've been riding the one wheel for about a month now and I, I'm pretty confident on it now but it does take a little bit to get used to, especially if you're not used to riding skateboards or anything like that. But probably in a week, I picked it up easy enough to be able to ride it around. And then a month now, I can confidently ride it and hold my camera. You just need to be confident and be safe. So don't try anything you're not ready for. It's getting late. 
So we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. I appreciate you guys watching. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos on one wheels, cameras, tech. Again, I appreciate it. If you have a one wheel, get out there and ride. Be safe, but I'll see you in the next one. Peace.